Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Tempest's... Tempest's... Tempest? Tempest's... God, I can't do this. First album, their little mini album. I watched one freaking music video and I'm attached. I don't know why I'm attached. I don't know what it is. Like, I loved Stacy and Weekly's music videos when I first reacted to them a couple weeks ago. But there's something when I listen to this where maybe it's just, it, it's just, they have such a unique look to them. Every member looks so different and unique, has their own little vibe going on. They're all, like I said, they're all a little older. It seems like, I don't know how long their training process was, um, but they're all like adults. They're all older, but they still have this youth look to them. And the one song was just really good. It's been in my playlist. Love it. Now there's four songs. One's called Bad at Love. I'm curious about that one. So there's just a little bit, Find Me, Next to You, and Bad at Love. So also the video got way more views than i thought i thought they might be an underrated group but then i know hanmin has a huge following and then all the boys seem so interesting and cool i know people have been watching them pre-debut i looked at their account like their youtube account they have a lot of dance videos but i need to kind of know their names and everything so i have my hello hello i have my instagram link below it's called angie's rose a n g i e s r o s e if anyone could just dm me some videos where their personalities are shown and hopefully not compilation because those can be a little confusing but if there's any specific videos that maybe just aren't on their youtube account where i can get their faces down let me know link it in my instagram i'll try to reply as soon as possible i kind of forget though um but yeah i'm intrigued so i want to know their names and everything like to face name to face Huarong looks gorgeous and he has a really pretty name. We have Hyung Soup, Hanbin Hyuk, Unchan Lu, Huarong, and Tare. Is that. <laughs> listen, listen, I can barely pronounce my own name. Please just bear with me. That's why I go by Angie. As they are older, I think that's probably why they seem more polished, but. I don't know if they even trained that long. It could be just late trainers, trainees. Mm. Ooh. Do they produce their own music or anything? Hyuk's voice, I think I was thinking this because I, I recognize his face, so I, it was he, I don't even know what to call him, I mean he has brown hair so he probably was, I, I think I recognize him from the video. His voice reminds me of someone's, I can't remember who though, like, <laughs> Jungwoo from Treasure, just like a little more mature. Their music a little bit, like this one reminds me a little bit of Everglow. I'm wondering if they have crossover producers. I like the backing vocals. Oh, I see the rapper. I freaking knew Haran was gonna be a rapper. Look at his face. He's a rapper. I think it's these three, probably. Is it their jungle from Treasure or like Jihoon? 
He reminds me of someone's voice in Treasure, though. Like, if this plays, I'll probably think it's a Treasure song just briefly, only during his part, which is a compliment, and I love Treasure. But, like, I was, like, I was thinking it, and I think the first video, too, I was, like, uh, if I didn't know what it was. But I think it's also just the instrumental. We vibe, we vibe. I like this. This could be like a. They can make a video for this one. Like some groups do like a subtitle track video. Like specifically like Cravity and stuff. They do like little videos for some B sides. I feel like they forgot like a whole line there. God, I love his voice. He's the main vocalist, clearly, so it makes sense. There's something so. This is why they stand out. I'm not trying to discredit any of the other boys, but Shook, it's because of him. His voice is very different from main vocalists, specifically in 4th gen K-pop. Like, look at, uh, Jungho from ATs. Like, just compare them. Like, their voices. Or, uh, even, like, Sungmin and Ayan. And, I mean, Stray Kids don't even have, like, a main vocalist per se, but, like, Sungmin is the main vocalist technically, I guess. But they're very rap heavy. Um, but even, like, NCT and stuff, all their main vocalists, even NCT Dream, like, Ren Jones is sweet too, but they don't really- Hitchon is more- like, it's more lines, I, would, I feel like, maybe? Like, so, his is completely different. But, Hyuk has, like, a more- almost like what I would think, uh, a main vocalist in a female group would have, where it's, like, a very sweet tone. Like, even in third gen, there's, like, Jungkook and all of them. Their voices are way more, like, middle ground. His is very sweet. His is very delicate, almost. Like, it's very refreshing. It's more astro. It's more... Even Seventeen, but Seventeen, their main vocalists don't have that type of tone either. That's why I I think I keep thinking of Treasure, because Treasure is, like, a rare group where even, like, Yadam and Jungwoo, who get the most lines, I would say, like, they're the main vocalist. Their voices are a lot more refreshing and sweet-sounding. So I think that's why they stand out right now because Treasure's music isn't really like that unless you're listening to B-sides. So I think Hyuk, his voice is so unique to me. For me, vocalist, there's tons of boys who have like that voice, but they're usually not in the forefront. It's so sweet. It's so... I love it. Their music's gonna stand out a lot in my playlist. I also like Horong is probably the main rapper, but you would think he, he would be because his voice is deep and that's kind of like the trend. You would think he might be, but I think it's them too. I like that they're the main rappers. They're very- I like this song. Yes. I feel like Hanbin, I'm not sure how the Korean public will like his singing because I don't even speak Korean, but I could hear his accent, but I don't know if that's like a thing, like if that's like an issue. Because I remember like people would say a lot of like uh, foreign members, it, like mainly in the third gen, I'm not sure how fourth gen is because there's not as many. I mean, there is, but I feel like there's not as many Chinese idols and stuff, um, obviously. So, but his, I can already, I can, I can hear his accent. So, but I don't know if it's like where he's pronouncing it weirdly. Let me know if you speak Korean. Let me know how my baby's doing. Let me know. But like, I can hear his accent, but I don't, I don't mind. 
because I don't even understand language. And even if I did, I don't really care if idols pronounce English wrong, so. We spent seven minutes on one song. Ooh. Also, I don't know if these are accurate, but they all have distinct voices. Oh, Lou has a deep voice, so forget what I said about Tade. Interesting build up. Yo, Chuck might be my favorite fourth gen male main vocalist. This could have been the title track. I'm glad they didn't choose it. Wow, he's very good. Like, I don't, how long has he trained, man? Or was he like born with like a nice voice? Is he one of those people? He sounds very polished for just debuting. Usually it's the dancing that's like the most polished. Like usually the main vocalist has to grow. Okay, Huarong has a bit of a Chinese voice, rapping tone too. His his tone reminds me of Jin Jin from Rastro. I like it. Is this not it? Wow. I feel like I'm gonna get Lu and Tade confused, like their voices. Is this right? I feel like some of these are wrong. The thing about it is, we don't know if he really improved. <laughs> what I hated about Island was the lack of practicing on their vocals. I couldn't even tell how good like some of the Unhypen members were before debut because like we didn't get to hear them <laughs> and i feel like they heard us complaining about that because it was like what the fifth or sixth episode when the vocal we saw the vocal teacher for the first time in like the sixth or seventh episode i don't even remember it was like the second half though and i was like so you existed and we just didn't see you like how are we supposed to know if they're good at singing the only people we knew were good at singing were sunu hisung who did like who did butterfly in uh was it spring day by bts who did those because we only heard them sing like there was only like one round where we really heard vocals and even then like it was kind of auto-tuned so i don't know if Hanmi got better i don't even know he was a really good dancer though Ooh, i like the effect oh shoot Oh, I wasn't expecting this type of rap. Oh, that's a very 90s rap. I think this song is the most trendy with the sound right now going on. So it's not going to stand out as much for me, but I like it. I really like the- ooh, okay, okay. They said shut up and listen real quick. Oh, that's different. I like that. Okay. That was great. I like just a little bit and just a little bit more, but I like Find Me. He has very sleepy eyes. He's a sleepy eye boy. Who does Horong remind you of? He he looks like someone. Who does he remind you of? Like no one here looks like anyone. But he reminds me of someone. Oh we we singing now too, Lou? Are we singing now too? Is it is this right? Is that it? Is this him? Oh he's multi talented, I see.
Interesting, we have a ballad. Usually it's like the second or third mini album, we get a true ballad. I like his list too. Oh, we should go straight up a bit. I'm trying to stop. Why little... Something about the song feels a little weird. I don't know if, like, it's the video, though. Is it Taeyong from SF9? Is that who Hoang reminds me of? Probably. It feels like you're doing something that Hyung so his voice. There's like a little effect right here, but it's only when he sings. But I might his may just be more noticeable. I like Hanbin the most in this song. I think he really suits these slower songs. Because he has such a gentle voice. Like, Hyuk's is sweet, but it's very strong. That's why he's the main vocalist, I'm guessing. I think that's why Hanbin's getting way more lines in this one. I hear you in the background. I think it's Hyuk. <laughs> Ooh. I like my song through this. Why is this not the last song? What's that I love to sound like? And I we were getting like a full ballad and I was like that's risky. Not risky but like that's that's cool for like a debut album but it was more of one of those sweet songs that just kind of is slower, can show more vocals. Blue is so cute. Oh he's starting. <laughs> He's really cute. Oh, oh, oh. oh this chorus better slap because I'm, I'm I'm vibing. I like that wording. Oh, this is fun. I love Hyuk's voice, but I really like Hyung Sup. I like his, his like, I don't know, I, I like his lines the most. I like when he sings a lot. I really like his voice. Like, I love his voice, but I think his might become my favorite voice so far, because I just like when he sings. <laughs> this is very like interesting. Oh, this is my favorite. I like fun songs like these. This is a very summery album. It's giving me Pong by Seventeen. Um, West by Omega, Girl, like those type of songs. Ooh. Oh, we have a nice rap. We have nice rappers in these groups. Like, besides Stray Kids, I haven't really been loving the rap lines in 4th Gen as much. 
Like Drake is an ATs. I like theirs, but I like Treasures, but they don't do much right now. Besides Drake Jin, they did great on that one, but. This, this is a funny song though, like the lyrics are really funny to me. Like what? I'm not attractive at all, okay. What does that have to do with the rest of the line? I'm not sure if they're accurate though. I'm, I'm probably listening to this one the most. I like, I think this style is very trendy with like, um, girl groups right now. Um, but I haven't seen that many boy groups do fun songs like these, like this specific style. So I really like their they did it. That's probably my favorite. I really like it. Like um, uh, Vivi's uh, or not? Like the the unit from G Friend. They have a song like this kind of too. It's very fun. Um. Is Hyuk not the main vocalist? Like, what do you mean? Main vocalist material, is he not? Is, is he not? I'm confused. I guess they don't have their positions yet, so I guess that's probably why they said that. I feel like it's a popular opinion that this and Just a Little Bit are probably the best. Um, I feel like Find Me is the most trendy and Next To You is very beautiful. Oh yeah, I do like Next To You. Um, I'll listen to this one the most. I think Next to You is my favorite vocally and just a little bit is my favorite like as a whole probably. Um, Find Me is probably my least favorite but it's just because it's kind of yeah anyone can do that song. This is a song where it's like I can't really hear many groups that are like at least fourth gen groups doing this song right now. Um, male groups specifically but um, Maybe like NCT Dream, but they're third gen, I keep forgetting. There's babies. Um, but like I don't hear I can't see someone doing this type of song really for a male group. Um, I think they also what helps them is they have like a very a lot of all their vocalists besides Hyung Sook, it sounds like they kind of have like softer tones. And besides like NCT Dream, I don't know any boy groups that have like a very in the fourth gen and i know dreams third gen but i'm gonna add them there's not many vocalists that have that type of voice in fourth gen um because the style right now is more dark so besides treasure where they have a lot of they have like treasure has more high-pitched um rappers like yoshi and haruto they only have i mean yoshi and Hyunsa, haruto is the only one with like a deeper voice um they have more of an array of vocalists so they're just obviously gonna have s some sweeter voices like Yadam and Young Jungwoo and stuff. Um and Asahi. So A and Jungkyo, like they have a lot of softer voices in there. Um but like I said, a lot of guy groups right now have like lower voices. Like all of eighties have low voices besides like Oyoung and San and Oyoung doesn't get anything so <laughs> um even their deeper voice like Yasung, he doesn't have that many either um lines I'm talking about like so um then strike his ian has a sweet voice but it's kind of it's not used a lot um like it just it just they're gonna stand out more to me at least i i feel like they have potential i'm gonna buy the i'm gonna cave and buy it it's it's done give me videos guys supply me with them i <laughs> will watch it but yeah i am looking forward to this them in midday are like the groups I'm very like rooting for. We're rooting for you, fighting. Um, but what's your favorite song? I will see you guys in the next video. Do not worry. We're we're standing. We're standing. Um, I think potential biases just from voices, looks. Like that's all I got right now. I just have pictures and voices. Is Lu? I mean, I have a special spot in my heart for Hanbin, of course, and. I really like Hyung Sop's voice. Like them, them three. Them three. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!